I'm going to talk about is uh, how to identify um, multiplicities of zeros and how they affect the graph of a polynomial. Um, I created an equation here to help us illustrate this, um, which is x squared times the quantity x minus 2 times the quantity x plus 4 times the quantity x minus 5 squared. And what I created was a polynomial of the um, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, sixth degree um, to help us illustrate all those linear factors. Now, first off, if you don't know, what is multiplicity? Multiplicity. Okay. All right. Multiplicity is the number of the number of linear zeros that are being used. Okay. So every when you find the zeros of a polynomial, um, they can be written as linear factors. And when you want to look at the multiplicity, um, you look at each one of the zeros. So in this case, we have a zero. If you look at that one, all right, we have a zero at, at x equaling zero. Um, here we have another zero at x equaling um, two. And here we have another zero at x equaling negative four. And right here we have another zero. And I'm going to get rid of this multiplicity symbol. Okay, and I'll put it right there. All right, press like that. All right, and we're going to have one right there, which is going to be x equaling um, five. Now. When we have these different zeros, each zero has a different multiplicity. It means how many times it has been used. In this case, when you look at x squared, all right, x squared, well, this gives us x zero. Well, it's x times x. Therefore, the multiplicity is two. All right, it's used to mean twice. It's something that's called a root or a double root. Okay, so in this case, it's like a double root or a multiplicity of two. So does that linear factor is being used twice? This has a multiplicity of 1 because it's using 1. This one also is being used once. All right. And x to the um, x minus 5 squared, that's being used twice again because it has a, all right, that little power right there um, tells us that it's being used twice. All right. So if you add up all your multiplicities together, okay, according to um, the rules in algebra, is that every degree has the same number of um, linear factors. And therefore, the multiplicities tell us how many linear factors are being used for every zero. Well, here we have a multiplicity of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's how we know it's a sixth degree. Okay, so the multiplicities, all right, added together equal the degree of the polynomial. Multiplicities add together, multiplicity add together, together equal degree of polynomial. Okay. That's kind of a little fact that we probably should know. Now, how do these different multiplicities and degree, or these different multiplicities affect a graph? Well, um, when we have this, basically when we have a multiplicity of 1, or any odd multiplicity um, of 3, 5, or 7, or any odd power greater than 1, all right, what we have is, you notice that here, if we plot this out, we have a value here at 0, and there are actually 2. Um, here's our 2. And we have a value here at negative 4. Well, at these different values, when you have multiplicity of 2, is that the graph passes through. Okay? Graph passes through at all multiplicities of 1 or odd degrees. So graph passes through the 0. Passes through the 0. All right, and that's the same case when you have an odd degree. Okay, they all pass through. And we'll have that right there. All right, the graph always passes through. So all these, they just simply pass through. Now, when you have an even power or an even multiplicity of two, four, six, and so on and so forth, like the ones that we have here at, all right, zero. And I'm going to use a different color. Um, let's use green. Yeah, there we go. Zero and at five. You can see right here that's a little bit different. Okay? When you hit this point, because it is all right, an even value, the value actually makes it multiply twice. So whatever that value is makes it bounce back down. All right? Or we say it's tangent. All right? So the graph is tangent. At these zeros, at these zeros. Okay, so you can see it's tangent right here at zero, and also as once we pass through here, all right, you can see that it's also tangent at five because it has a multiplicity that is even. 
All right? And that's how we can use multiplicity to help us graph or identify um, how many zeros we have at different functions. When you see a graph that is tangent, all right, you know that zero is being used more than once. Okay? The zero is being more than once. When you see a graph that is passed through, you know that zero is used um, just once, maybe three or five or seven times, but you know it's probably used probably just once. Okay? So that is the deal with multiplicities. That's how it can help you identify different things with graphs. Um, hope this helps out when you graph or um, are trying to find um, the total number of zeros of a polynomial. All right, good luck and God bless in the rest of your um, the rest of your work.